Destiny 2 is kicking off its yearly celebration of the game with moments of triumph. The free-to-play event is meant to acknowledge all the milestones achieved by players, new and old alike. Here's how the event works and how to obtain the Moments of Triumph title and seal. The event itself begins now, but players will have plenty of time to complete all the challenges and triumph requirements as Moments of Triumph won't end until September 22nd, which is the release date for Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Moments of Triumph will require players to go through various activities from easy entry level bounty completions all the way to the end game raids. The good news is, the event will reward players along the way. Moments of Triumph has several in-game goodies to obtain such as exotic ghost shells, emblems, and exotic sparrows. Continue to accomplish even more triumphs as you check them off your list, and you'll get special codes to redeem at the Bungie store, allowing you to buy physical t-shirts and memorabilia that are only available to people who complete those triumphs. Now, there are numerous triumphs and the whole list can seem daunting at first, especially when the MMXX seal requires 28 of them, some a little more concerning to casual players than the rest. Rest assured though, that if you've been playing even casually this season, a lot of your triumphs may have been retroactively completed already. Although most of the requirements for Moments of Triumph are related to old events and activities, there are some triumphs related to quests and story beats in the Season of Arrivals that set up the next expansion. One particular triumph involves obtaining all three of the seasonal exotic weapons, which means all new exotic quests. One such quest is for the Ruinous Effigy Trace Rifle, a void weapon that is unlike anything Bungie has made in Destiny before. The quest itself can be tedious at times, but we have a gameplay guide to help streamline the fastest way to obtain this exotic and the location of several items you'll need to find in a lengthy fetch quest. Arguably the biggest change that Moments of Triumph implements is the removal of a reward cap on several old raids. The Leviathan, Eater of Worlds, Spire of Stars, Crown of Sorrow, and Scourge of the Past raids are all now farmable for their unique weapons and armor. Several of the triumphs for completing these raids even include rewards that were previously obtainable in raid but had stingy drop rates. One such example being the luxurious Toast Remote, which is exclusive to the Spire of Stars raid. Now so long you beat the raid and claim your triumph, the reward is yours. It's no secret that several old locations from Vanilla Destiny 2 are being removed from the game temporarily, with plans to eventually rotate any vaulted content in future seasons. Meaning that in just a few months, every Leviathan raid, as well as the Scourge of the Past, will be removed from the rotation for the time being. This makes Moments of Triumph the perfect time to fill out your collections and obtain any armor sets or weapons you may be missing from the raids before they're taken out of the rotation indefinitely. Moments of Triumph will eventually cross over the Solstice of Heroes, another seasonal event that also reprises and encourages players to revisit old activities and locations in celebration. There should be plenty of more surprises and quests to look forward to as Bungie begins to push forth on its most ambitious expansion yet. Season of the Arrivals is truly the calm before the storm, and we're certain that there will be so much to take in as Beyond Light approaches closer. So be sure to stick to GameSpot as we'll have all the features, guides, and opinions you'll need for Destiny 2.